Coach, can you first uh, give us an opening statement? Uh, you win uh, all four games against the Bison. Yeah, I mean, I think it's great to win games. Obviously, for us, I wish we had played a little bit better. I mean, I don't even know how many runners we left on base this weekend, and, and especially in scoring position. So, um, you know, we need to go back to the drawing board this week. I think base running was pretty weak. Um, it took us out of some innings. I thought some of our bats were pretty weak, but, you know, our pitchers held it down. And I have to give credit to, obviously, Allie and Emily right here because, you know, I think they were put in pressure situations, um, you know, based on mistakes or errors. And, and I think that's the piece that, you know, we got to own that a little bit more, especially late in the game. I think we let them hang around and, you know, that's a, that's a good team. One swing can change this entire game and change the entire series. So, you know, I think for us, it's a matter of we'll take the wins, but we have a lot of work to do. And then Emily, uh, first, can you just talk about that RBI hit in the first game? Obviously you were coming in in a pinch hitting situation. Can you just talk about that hit? And obviously it, it made the difference in that win. Yeah, um, well, so yesterday when I came in a pinch hit, I swung at the first pitch and that didn't turn out well. So I told myself to be patient and get a good pitch. And then just to see it like go up the middle, I knew immediately that I was gonna score, like have a run score and I was just really happy. And then in game two, I mean, you're no hitting Bucknell and then you run into trouble in the sixth. I mean, what's going through your mind at that point when you've been dominating and all of a sudden you're, you have that one run lead? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's a pressure situation and it kind of, you just have to sit there and like work through it anyways. Um, you know, it's nice to have my teammates behind me to support me. Um, I, I knew that we'd get out of it. But then for you, I mean, 142 pitches to end the game with a strikeout. I mean, what does that do for your adrenaline to end a game like that? Uh, it feels really good. Yeah, <laughs> I was really happy. and Everyone else is happy, so it's great. Uh, any questions for Emily, Sydney? Um, speaking of that strikeout, what are you, and um, going into the rest of the season, what are you hoping to accomplish to um, finish out the rest of the season? Um, I think just continue, continuing to go at batters and um, get productive outs. Um, yeah, I don't know, just continue working hard and getting through games. Um, so it looks like you were with the first game you were leading in the seventh and you were then Bucknell was able to you were leading until the seventh and then Bucknell was able to get in two runs, um, but able to you were end up able to win the game. Um, what did winning that first game um, due to the team's momentum and ultimately their performance going into the second game? Um, I think Bucknell tied it up in the sixth and then oh. we ended up scoring and then okay. in the seventh. Yeah, that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think for us, we know that we have to win the series. So winning the series means winning three games. So, you know, obviously winning that first game, not that it takes pressure off because we want to continue to compete, but, you know, I think for us, it, it's, at least we know we're going home with three wins and, and, you know, we have to do our part to kind of finish the job. So I did feel like there was a little bit more of like a deep breath kind of after we won that first game. And then it was just kind of back to focus 20 minutes later for the next one. But, you know, anytime we're on the field, we're playing a win. So it doesn't make a difference what game and what game it is, but you know, conference games matter and they matter for proceedings. And we kind of have to do our part to make sure that we're taking care of business when we can. What are you looking for your team um, for the rest? Uh, yeah, I think you've got about a week or two left. Um, what are you hoping to see from them? Just better softball. I mean, I think for us, like we, we play hard and we know how to compete. It's just the mistakes. And, you know, we have a lot of young kids. And, and I mean, half our team is, is sophomores or freshmen. You know, so when you look at that, like you understand there's going to be a learning curve and there's going to be mistakes. And I think that's like the part we're trying to work through. Usually we have a longer preseason to kind of work the kinks out. And I feel like for us, it's been such a shortened season that we're still trying to figure things out and navigate through it. But, you know, it's a tough group and they're resilient. So good, bad, ugly. I mean, we're we're in it to win and, and we're doing our best. But, you know, we definitely have to make some improvements. Can you just talk about Emily Gant? I mean, first, she has a big hit in the first game and then then to throw 142 pitches in the second game to get that win. Yeah, actually, you know, Em's coming back from like a knee injury. And I think for her yesterday when we put her in, she wasn't feeling too good. There was a big hole in the mound. So I had to take her out. I probably would have rode her a little bit longer yesterday if she wasn't in pain. And I was really happy today, obviously game two getting out there. I mean, she was executing pitches and she looked great. You know, and, and to me, I've always told them like, I don't care if you give up a home run. I care if you give up a walk, right? Make somebody earn it. And, and they earned it and that's fine. I'll give up two runs, but that's the reason we have to execute with runners on, you know, instead of putting her in a pressure situation, obviously in the seventh, but um, and I mean, she struck out that last kid. That, that's her best hitter. I mean, that kid was incredible all weekend. Um, but Emily's a competitor. She's the type that can bear down. And, you know, I think for her today, 
it's a really good hitting team. It's a big swinging team. And I think for her, just executing pitches and being able to kind of take a breath and reset, you know, batter after batter. Um, I was really impressed with her. I think Emily's incredibly talented. And I think she's a really great offset to Allie. You know, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, the difference of her being healthy and not healthy. And, um, you know, today was good. I feel like she's showing signs of life coming back and throwing more and more. And um, that's only going to help us. And then uh, what did you think of Allie's performance in the third game? Obviously, she kind of ran into trouble in the seventh inning, but it was her third time going up against Bucknell also. Yeah, I mean, Allie's incredible. I mean, she wants the ball. I mean, she was going to warm up in the seventh inning of that game. I mean, this kid just literally loves to pitch. So I, I don't think she cares who she's facing, how many times she's facing him. I mean, she just loves to be on the mound. She loves to spin the ball. Um, I thought today she handled the pressure situation a little bit better than Saturday. Um, meaning they were hitting the ball versus her just putting them on and walking them, you know? So I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with what she did this weekend and, and to get a good hitting team out that many times, you know, I mean, that's, that's hats off to her. I think that shows you, you know, how competitive and how talented she is.